Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ng ating series about uh, rational expressions. No? Uh, kung sinusundan nyo itong series natin, uh, uh, from the previous videos, tayo ay nag-aaral uh, kung paano ba mag-add no? at mag-subtract ng rational expressions. No? So, pag yung rational expressions natin, hindi magkapareho yung, uh, yung denominator. No? So, ang ginagawa natin dyan ay we factor the denominator. No? At hinafactor natin dyan ay yung mga numbers. No? Tapos kung meron tayong, uh, for example, meron tayong mga trinomials, no? pwede natin i-factor. Pero kung um, ay, mga binomials lang, usually nililib lang natin siya as is. No? So, for example, yung 10y squared, factor din natin yung number, no? yung 10, kukunin natin yung kanyang um, prime, fact prime factorization. So, 10 can be expressed as 2 times 5, di ba? So, pag sinabi natin uh, prime factorization, ibig sabihin, i-express natin yung number as product of primes. No? So, prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on. No? Yung mga prime numbers natin. Lahat ng numbers pala pwede natin siyang express as product of primes. No? So, meaning... Since yung 10 is 2 times 5, 10y squared, yung 10y squared natin dito, can be expressed as, as 2 times 5 times y squared. No? Times y squared. Okay. Next, yung 50, 50 can be expressed as uh, 10 times 5. Hindi pa to prime factorization kasi meron pa tayong number na hindi prime. So 10 can also be expressed as 2 times 5. Meaning, 50 can be expressed as 2 times 5 times 5. 2 times 5 times 5. Or, 2 times 5 squared. Yung 5 times 5 is 5 squared. Now, pag kukunin natin yung LC, D nung dalawa, kailangan naka, ano siya, naka, um, mas maganda na naka-exponent form siya. So, uh, 50YZ is equal to uh, 2 times 5 squared times y times z. Okay? So, pag na-factor na natin yung uh, ating uh, dalawang, o yung ating denominators, no? dito, in this case, dalawa lang, pero mamaya, tignan natin pa, paano pag tatlo. So, ang gagawin natin is, we get the LCD of this using the factored form. No? So, paano yon? Yung LCD, uh, the LCD is actually the product of all the factors. No? Kaso, Pag uh, meron tayong common, hindi natin pareho kukunin. No? For example, meron tayong common dito, 2. Common means pareho. No? So, ang kukunin lang natin dyan, isa. Pag same number, same exponent, no? kukunin lang natin isa sa kanila. So, pag parehong number. Paano? Pag parehong number, yung pareho yung base nila, pero magkaiba sila ng exponent. Ang kukunin natin ay ang number or the, the variable, in this case kasi variable, eh. the number or, or the variable with a larger exponent. So, ang 5 squared tsaka 5, ang kukunin natin ay 5 squared. Then, yung y squared tsaka y, ang kukunin natin ito kasi mas malaki yung exponent niya. And then, pag may unique na kasama, lalagay din natin sa, sa product. So, Actually, we're getting the product, pero may ginagawa lang tayo dun sa mga common. We're getting the product of all the numbers and the variables, pero hindi lang natin sinasama yung may mga common. Pag may common, na pareho, lalagay natin isa lang. Tapos pag may common, pareho yung base, lalagay natin na with the, the variable or the number with the higher exponent. No? So, ang LCD ito na yun. So, meaning, the LCD natin ay 2 times 5 squared. This is 25 times 2. 50y squared z. So, yun na yung LCD natin. Okay. So, 50, 50y squared z. Meaning, meron tayo yung dalawang uh, rational expressions ng kanilang um, Denominator ay 50y squared z. Okay. Question, ano na yung susunod na gagawin? 
when we're adding rational expressions, para tayo nag-add ng uh, dissimilar fractions. In this case, kasi hindi pareho yung kanilang denominator. No? So, for example, nag-add tayo ng fraction 1 half plus 1 third. 1 half plus 2 third, kunwari. Okay, so, mangyayari dyan, we get the LCD. So, 6. Ang LCD ng 1 half tsaka 1 third, yung 2 and 3, ang LCM niya ay 6. So, parang ito na yun. Diba? So, para i-convert natin ito sa equivalent fraction niya, we divide 6 divided by 2, 3 times 1, 3, no? And then, 6 divided by 3, uh, 2 times 2, 4. No? Kaya siya magiging 7 over 6. No? Or kung gusto mong i-convert 1 and 1, 6. Ganun din dito. Um, itong rational expression na ito, gagawin natin siyang expression na equivalent O gagawa natin siya ng equivalent rational expression na ang denominator ay yung LCD. Mina. So meaning, we divide this by this and then uh, multiply the quotient by 9. So 50, ito, ito, 50y squared z divided by 10y squared. No? Ito yung divided by 10y squared. And then whatever the result, we multiply by 9. So, ang 50 tsaka 10, uh, pwedeng divide by 10. So, this is 5, divide by 10, this is 1. Yung y squared divided by y squared is 1. y squared divided by y squared is 1. So, pwede natin cancel So, matitira 5 times 1 times z is 5z over 1 times 1 is 1, which is equal to 5z over 1 is simply 5z. So, 5z... Pero may, meron tayong 9 dito. So, i-multiply natin yung 9 dun sa 5z. Yun yung ating numerator dito. So, 9 times 5z. Next. Ito naman, pangalawang expression naman tayo. So, 50y squared z. 50y squared. 50y squared z divided by 50yz. So, cancel. Cancel yung z. 1, 1. Cancel yung y. y squared tsaka y. May matitira tayong y isa dito. And then, ito magiging 1. So, 1 times y times 1 is y. And then, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. y over 1 is simply y. y siya. Pero, may 7 pa tayo dito. So, this uh, expression divided by this expression, and then multiply by 7. So, meron pa tayong 7 times y. Simply 7 y. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo sa addition of uh, dissimilar fraction, dalawang fraction yan, uh, pareho na sila. Naging similar na sila kasi pareho na yung kanilang denominator. No? So, pag naging similar sila, you cop just copy the denominator when you add or when you subtract, and then add the numerator. So, I-add lang natin itong dalawang to and then copy the denominator. So, equals 50y squared z times, um, yung sa numerator natin is 9 times 5z which is 45z plus 7y. Uh, isa na itong, ano pagkakaiba nito? Tsaka ito, ito isang rational expression na siya. Tapos ito dalawa siya. Okay? Um, question, pwede kaya tayo mag-cancel ng y dito sa y? No. no? Uh, because this is an addition expression, hindi tayo pwede mag-cancel. Pwede lang tayo mag-cancel pag multiplication niya. No? O, an, an example of this is, for example, meron tayong pwedeng i-factor out. So, mag-factor out tayo dito. Pari, meron y dito, so pwede natin i-factor yung y, factor out yung y. And then we can cancel because the operation is y times this expression. Pero ito, ito ay uh, addition, kaya hindi tayo pwede mag-cancel. So actually, yan yung pinaka-final answer natin. No? Okay? Next. Next number. Okay, so I think mas madali na tayo dito. So, I-factor natin yung 12. What is the factor of 12? 4 times 3. Tapos ang 4 ay 2 times 2. So, 12a is equal to 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 2 squared times 3 times a. 
next um, 3a squared b 3a squared b equals 3 times a squared times b so maganda itapat natin siya para mas madaling makikita no? tapos yung 6bc ang 6 by prime hindi di ba 6 is 2 times 3 2 times 3 and then wala wala tayong a meron tayong b tsaka meron tayong c so meron pa tayong magkapareho so ang lcm natin or lcd lcm natin ay uh, 2 squared at saka 2 yung mas mataas na exponent 3, 3, 3 kunin ba natin yung tatlo? 3 times 3 times no, isa lang no? pag magkakapareho, isa lang times 3 and then a tsaka a squared yung mas mataas na exponent yung b, dalawang b so isa lang, common sila at pag meron tayong unique na walang kapareho sama na natin sa product so this is our lc lcm 4 times 3, this is 12, a squared, bc. Meaning, we are going to convert the uh, these uh, rational expressions into expressions ng denominator ay 12, a squared, bc. This is plus 12, a squared, ay sorry, makita sa taas, nasa baba siya. 12, a squared, bc minus something over 12 a squared bc. Siguro pwede na natin itong alisin. Ang dito. Para meron tayong space. So again, we divide. We divide this expression by this expression and then multiply the quotient by 7. So 12 a squared. I like it green. 12 a squared bc divided by 12a so maka-cancel magiging 1 ang a squared tsaka a maka-cancel this is a may matitirang a sa taas so abc over 1 is abc pero mamultiply natin siya dito so 7 7 abc next konti na lang bear with me um, 12a squared bc divided by 3a squared b. So, makakancel yan, magiging 1. Makakancel yung a squared, magiging 1. Makakancel yung 12 tsaka 3. They are both divisible by 3. This is 4. This is uh, divided by 3, 1. So, magiging 4 times 1 times 1 times c. This is 4c over 1, which is equal to 4c. Kaso, meron ba tayong 4 dito? So, 4 times 4c. Next, kalimutan natin mag green but this time we're green natin. So this is 12a squared bc divided by 6bc. Makakancel yan, magiging 1. And then makakancel to they are both divisible by 6. Divided by 6 is 1. And then 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 2 times c squared times 1. This is 2c squared. Oh, sorry, not, not c squared by, but a pala to. Sorry, sorry. This is a squared, no? So, 6, 2. Uh, tama. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, 6, 2a squared, no? So, magiging 5. Meron tayong 5 dito. 5 times 2a squared. This is 2a squared times 1 divided by 1. This is 2a squared. And then, pare-pareho na sila. So, we can, uh, we can just form one rational expression with 12a squared bc, 7abc, uh, then plus no, 16c, and then minus 10a squared. So, may pwede ba tayong factor out? Wala. No? So, I think this is the, the final answer. Okay, that's it. I think yung pinaka-idea is to, one, to factor all the, um, factor muna lahat ng denominators, and then express sila in exponent form, and then uh, if there are common 
the idea of the LCM is to multiply the, all the denominators. No? Tapos pag may common, kunin natin yung common pag mayroong same variable and then iba-iba uh, yung exponent nila, we get a variable with the highest exponent. And after that, we multiply yun na maging LCD natin. No? And of course, uh, huwag niyong kalimutan yung, uh, yung pag-add ng fraction no? kasi related siya. Okay, that's it. I hope meron ka natutunan sa video na to. I'll see you in the next tutorial.